Kimcha Dechiti. That means flower of wheat. Chiti is wheat and Kemach is flower. So Kimcha Dechiti, flower of wheat. Wheat flower. It's Machlaikis. Rav Yehuda Omar. Rav Yehuda says, Bayre, the bracha is, Bayre Pri Ha'adama. You say Hadama on wheat flour, it grows from the ground. That's the bracha you say on it. For Rav Nachman Omar, Rav Nachman says, Shahakol Niya Niya Bidvare. Everything was created, exists with his word. And that's the bracha that you say on flour, that you say a Shahakol, not a Hadama. Again, Rav Yehuda holds that it's a Hadama, and Rav Nachman holds that it's a Shahakol. Omar Lay, this is an abbreviation for Omar Lay. Which means he said to him. Who said to who? Well, let's read this all together. Amar le Rava le Rav Nachman. All that goes together. Rava says to Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman's opinion was that it's Shahakal. What does he tell him? He says, Leitiflag Aleha de Rav Yehuda. Don't argue with Rav Yehuda. Do not disagree with him. Don't disagree with Rav Yehuda. Rav Nachman holds that it's Shahakal. Rav Yehuda says it's Bari Priyadama. Rava tells Rav Nachman, don't disagree with Rav Yehuda. It really should be Bari Priyadama on wheat flour. If you eat wa- wheat flour, Taisus mentions, doesn't mean regular flour, it means that it was toasted in some way. Okay, why not? De Rav Yechanan v'Shmuel kaimi kavasei. Because Rav Yechanan and Shmuel both hold like Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda happens to be a student of Shmuel. And both Rav Yechanan and Shmuel hold that on wheat flour, you should say Hadama. So therefore, Rav Nachman, give up your opinion and hold like Rav Yehuda that flour is a Hadama. Where do we see that Rav Yechanan and Shmuel say that you need to say Hadama on flour? They actually don't say that. They say it about something else, but we're going to compare uh, what they say to flour. De Amar Rav Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, for Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel, V'chein, and so too. Amar Rav Yitzchak, Amar Rav Yechanan, Rav Yitzchak says in the name of Rav Yechanan. By now, this abbreviation, Aleph is Amar Rabbi, and it needs to continue with Yitzchak. So Amar Rav Yitzchak, Rav Yitzchak says, in Amar Rav Yechanan, Rav Yechanan says, it's not the same as Aleph Lamed, that's Amar Lei, he said to him. This is Amar Rabbi that's the um, the title of the following name, together with the verb that he said. Okay, both so both Shmuel and Rabbi Yechanan say, what do they say? Shemen Zayas, that means olive oil. Put that together. Shemen Zayas, Mivarchin, a love. The blessing that you say on it is Bayrei Pri Ha'etz. You say Ha'etz on Shemen Zayas. We learned this before. Okay, olive oil gets the bracha of eight. Alma, we see, or I see. Af al gav, that's an abbreviation. Af al gav, even though the ishtani, that's a very important comma right there, even though it's been changed. Bimil se koi, it remains the same. Koi means it's standing, and bimil se is in its, um, uh, in its type, or in, in, in its same form. Uh, so bimil sekoi here means it sa- it remains th- with the same bracha, even though originally it was an olive oil, it was an olive, and now you've crushed it and turned it into olive oil. As an olive, it was ha'etz. Even after you've crushed it and turned it into oil, it remains ha'etz. Hacha nami, so to here. Hacha nami means here. Hacha here. Nami also. That's the abbreviation here. Hacha nami. Afalgav. This is a repeat of the abbreviation before. Even though. The ishtani, that it's been changed. What are we talking about? Hachanami here also. We're talking about flour. Even though originally it started off as wheat berries. And if they were toasted, they would actually be ha'adama. And now that you've changed it, even though the ishtani, it's been changed, bimilse koi, it remains the same. Okay. I'm going to turn that into a period. And that is the statement of Rava. To Rav Nachman, quoting Rav Yudai, uh, uh, co- quoting Shmuel and Rav Yechanan, that they would say that wheat flour needs to be hadama based on what they say about olive oil. That just like olive oil, even though you've changed the olive into oil, 
it started as a eitz, it remains a eitz. So too, when it comes to flour, even though you've changed it from wheat berries into flour, it will still remain with the same bracha of hadama. Me, dummy, is it comparable? This we have to put a question mark. Now, me introduces a question. Dummy means comparable. And me is a is it or will it? Um, it's similar to like a hey hashaila, uh, which takes, let's say, hayedatem. Um, like yedatem is you know, hayedatem. Uh, uh, let's say yedatem is you do know. Hayedatem would be do you know? So me actually just switches something to before. That's how it works in Aramaic. It doesn't mean who, uh, like it does in Hebrew. Me dummy, is it similar? Uh, which means, can we compare, really, olive oil to wheat flour? Hasam, there, referring to the olive oil. Lesle, iluya achrina. There is not another improvement. Lesle is the opposite of what we're going to see here. Isle. Lesle means there is not, and isle means there is. Iluya achrina means another improvement, which is like a ishtani, a way that it changes. Olive oil is olive oil. It starts as an olive, and it comes to olive oil. That's the finished product. Hacha, here, referring to wheat flour, there is another improvement. And what is that improvement? Pepas. It's with bread. That means that right now, this is just an ingredient. It's not the finished product. And therefore, the bracha should not be a hadama, but the, rather the bracha should be a shahakal. So, in other words... The comparison that Rabbi Yochanan and Shmuel would definitely agree with Rabbi Yehuda that says that you say hadama on, on wheat flour is not a good comparison because they were talking about olive oil, which is the finished product. So that gets a ha'etz, which is the original bracha. Okay, now the Gemara says, V'chi and when is slay, when there is iluya achrina, another improvement. And this is a nice long question. Loi mevarchinan aleha, we do not say, we do not bless on it. Bayrei pri adama, who creates the fruit of the ground. Ela shahakal, rather only a shahakal. This is a question. Is that really so? That whenever something is going, still needs to be improved, it's only an ingredient. The ingredients are, on, are only get a shahakal. They don't get a hadama. Veha Omar Rab Now, we've had the Aleph Resh before, and that meant Omar Rabbi. And so it's Omar Rabbi Zera. But here it has a hey, uh, and it means Veha. Veha Omar Rab now, you would uh, uh, expect there to be two Alephs, one for the Vaha and one for the, um, one for the Omar. Um, it actually doesn't have to be like that. You can have just one Aleph in the, with the comments under it. Vaha Omar, and it could be one word. Vaha Omar Rabzeira, and but Rabzeira said, this is the continuation of the question, it's a proof. I put a question mark, it doesn't mean it's the end of the question, it's the answer. This is proving the question, we're going to put another question mark when this is done. Vaha Omar Rabzeira, but Rabzeira says, and he says, in the name of Omar Rab Masna, Rav Masna says, in the name of Omar, Rab, Omar Shmuel, in the name of Shmuel, so that's a nice long um, quote, three, three uh, generations here. Yeah? Uh, Rav Masna was a famous student of Shmuel, he, I think he actually learnt in Sura. Um, he learnt under under Rav as well, and he came to Shmuel. Shmuel praised his um, his knowledge in Darshan and Psukim, which was not done as much in Nardai as it was in Sura. And Reb Zera is the famous Reb Zera that went from he was a friend of Rabbah that went from uh, Bavel to Eretz Yisrael. Okay. So Reb Zeyre says in the name of Rav Masnu, says in the name of Shmuel, Akrochaya. Krochaya is raw cabbage. That's how we translate it. But actually, the Aleph means An. That An, Krochaya. Kro, we translate it as cabbage, but it's probably more like a gourd. Um, pumpkins is something from the New World. and uh, But they did have gourds there. The difference between a gourd and a pumpkin, besides for uh, possibly it looks different, is also the flower color is different. I believe uh, pumpkins have yellow flowers. Um, so, akrachaya, 
on raw cabbage or raw pumpkins, vikimcha desari, and barley flour. Kemach is flour, and sari is like the word soirim barley. Akrachaya, and on barley flour, mivarchinan, we bless. Mivarchinan alayo, let's put that together. We say on it, shahakal niabidvare, that everything exists with his words. With his word. Okay, so that means that raw cabbage and wheat, f- and not wheat, barley flour gets a shahakal. My love, is it not? The word my does not mean is it. The word my means what? But what it really means is what is the circumstance, is it not? And we drop that circumstance, is it? And we just put my love and means what not. But that's not really what it's saying. It's m- saying, is it not? Dechiti, that if it would have been wheat flour, de on, uh, de doesn't mean, de means um, of, dechiti, of wheat, that means flour of wheat, that would be bayre pri ha Okay, now let me explain what we just did here. Let's move this away. And what we're saying is like this. What still improves, or it still has an improvement, is not going to get the finished bracha, which is, in our case, would be a bari priyadama. What still is going to improve, uh, the bracha on it would only be a shahakal. The Gemara says, is that really so? That something that is still uh, going to improve, which means right now it's just an ingredient, is, uh, if you eat it as is, is only going to be a shahakal? That's not so. I'll tell you from a statement of Shmuel that... Um, that it's not so, that you would actually say hadama on things that are only ingredients. So, so for example, what was his statement? He, well, he said that on raw cabbage, raw gourd, uh, and on barley flour, you say a shahakal. Now, why did he say barley flour? It must be that barley flour is unique, that it gets a shahakal. Uh, but if it would be wheat flour, then it would have been hadama. So that's a proof that wheat flour could be hadama even though it's still going to improve so things that will improve will still can still be hadama they don't need to be a shahakal now actually this is really what we're talking about the whole time we don't have to say this as something that is going to still improve um and this is really our main point but we're actually being more general we're thinking that we're, what we're learning from this is that anything that's only an ingredient is going to be a shakal that's not so wheat flour is an example of something that would be hadama and we prove it that since R- Shmuel only said that barley flour is shahakal, probably wheat flour would not be. So the says, Loi. No. Dechiti, wheat, nami shahakal. And nami, let's put a comma. Nami also. Shahakal, shahakal, niya bedvari. It doesn't say shahakal, I say shahakal. That everything, niya, niya, uh, bedvari, exists with his word. Okay. And really, wheat will also get a shakal. The Gemara asks, if that's so, then why does Shmuel talk about barley? V'lishaminan, and let it say to us, let it let us hear. Dechite. Oh, I have to move that back. V'lishaminan, um, dechite. Let's put that like there's a line. I mean, in the chite, let it say chite. But kolshkein desari. This is an abbreviation, kolshkein, which is the same translation as a kalvachimer, which means all the more so barley. As if wheat is shahakal, wheat flour is shahakal, for sure barley flour should be shahakal. So the Gemara says, no, that doesn't. That's not necessary. Not necessarily so. Uh, why do, should if it would say wheat, then automatically I would know barley. Uh, not necessarily. I ashmi inan, if it would let us hear, which means if it would say, dechiti, of wheat, that wheat is a shahakal, wheat flour, then hava amina, I would have said, hani mili, these words, oh, we have a lot of abbreviations here, these words are only dechiti, that only wheat is a shahakal, aval desari, but barley, loy lavrich aleha klal, loy lavrich aleha klal, I would say that you don't say a bracha at all. Kamash malan, it's coming to let us hear. Another abbreviation, kamash malan, it's coming to let us hear that on barley you say shahakal. In other words, you can't tell me that chiti is shahakal, and automatically I would know barley. 
um, and from the fact that it doesn't do that, it means that chitim is is hadama. That's not so because if it would have said chitim is shahakal, then I would have said that maybe Bali doesn't get a bracha. The Gemara says umi gara, and once again, and is it worse? Umi gara, and is it worse? Mi melach vizamis than salt and a uh, brine. Ditanan that it was taught in a Mishnah. Ditanan that it was taught in a Mishnah. Tanan is a Mishnah. Ala melach. On salt, va'al azamis, and on a brine. Oimer, he says, shakol niyabidvaray that everything is with his word. He says that bracha. Okay, so this is a question that why would I think that barley doesn't get in any bracha at all? Is it worse than salt or this fish brine that you say that uh, on those things you say a shahakal? Okay. Gemar says Yitzchik. No, it's necessary. It actually is worse. Salka daita chamina. I can uh, write that in over there. Salka. Salka. That's a kuf. Salka daita. Or salka daita. That's an ayin. Salka daita. Salka daita. Amina. Aleph. Amina. That means I. It would ent- go up into your mind to say. I could have thought. Salka daita chamina. Melach. Salt, vizamis, and brine. Ovid inish, a person would, would do. Ovid inish, a person would do. The shadi lapume, that he would put it into his mouth. A little bit of salt, a little bit of brine, taste a little, a little drop of it. Aval, but kimcha desari, barley flour, hoyel since, the kosher, lekukiani. It causes kosher means it's difficult, but it means that it's. Um, that it causes kukiani, which is a type of intestinal worm. So therefore, loy lavrich, you should not say a bracha, aleha, on it, klal, at all. Now, the, since this is damaging, so I thought maybe I shouldn't say a bracha at all. And by the way, we had this before, but someone drinks raw olive oil, Rashi to said, if you drink straight olive oil, you don't say a bracha. Kamash malon, it's coming to let us hear. Kivan, since the Yislei Hanamine, since he does have some pleasure from it. Boy, Bruche, you still need to say a bracha, and that bracha is shahakal. So what comes out is, is that from the fact that it doesn't say that chitim are shahakal, is not a real teaching that chitim is hadama. It could be that really what it's telling me is that barley is shahakal, and it's not nothing. And really chitim is also shahakal. And what comes out is that possibly Rav Nachman could be correct in conclusion that really wheat is a shahakal. And don't tell me that it's comparable to oil, that it should keep its same bracha of hadama. Uh, that's not necessarily so, because you can't compare it. The, the, the flour is still only an ingredient. It still has another improvement. Um, however, the oil is the finished product. Okay.